This is Sirach 22 and 23. Be faithful to thy neighbor in his poverty, that thou may rejoice in his prosperity. Abide steadfast unto him in the time of his trouble, that thou mayest be heir with him in his heritage. For a mean estate is not always to be contemned, nor the rich that is foolish to be had in admiration. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So, I just want to go into this lesson about a mean estate, you know. It could be financially, uh, you could be financially brought low. Uh, you could be, uh, you know, brought low in many ways, right? You could be brought low in status, uh, you know. There's a lot of ways you could be uh, brought, way, but it brought low, but it says a mean estate is not always to be contemned. Sometimes being brought low because uh, they got a saying in the world that says, I got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> That's when you're like pretty much at rock bottom and you got nowhere to go <laughs> but up, you know. And uh, to quote my brother Murph Jeremiah from the Chicago camp, uh, something to the effect, he says, um, that um, when I'm brought low, I I'm happy because I know the Lord's going to exalt me, you know. There's been many times in my walk that I've been brought low in status or whatever. And um, it was um, not for me to be exalted, but me to just be out of the way, you know, because I, there's been um, a lot of, uh, how can I put this, um, house cleanings. All right, where heads were rolling, and uh, and though a lot of those situations, I was put out of the way. Sometimes I was on suspension. Sometimes I was um, um, just or, or even I've even been kicked out the camp, you know, to where um, I was just out the way of trouble, of of a house cleaning, and um, so. I take that as, you know, what I'm reading. A mean estate is not always to be contemned, man. Putting in a bad situation, being put in a bad or low situation, you know, because the scriptures, you know, they talk about, um, let me, let me see if I can pull this. Right. This is uh Sirach 20 and 21. There is that is hinting through want. And when he taketh the rest, he shall not be troubled, right? Yeah, so there's people, you know, who are hindered from sinning because they don't have the means to do it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. You know, I can't buy a crack <laughs> if I don't got no money, <laughs> you know? You know, the Lord uh, keeps his certain men on short leashes, you know what I mean? Because there's certain... Um, things that could hinder a man's walk. Sometimes power um, can hinder a man's walk. You know, some people are in this thing for a position, you know. <laughs> All right. And when they get that power, they abuse it. <laughs> you know, they end up offending men. You know, they end up you know, doing men all kind of ways. I've seen that, <laughs> you know. You know, some people don't know how to handle a position. Some people don't know how to handle power, you know. Um, you know, there's different offices <laughs> in this walk, man. You know, some guys you give power to and they, they, they become power freaks, man. You know, they didn't have power in the world. They they were they wasn't nobody in the world. So when they come into truth, now they're just rah rah. <laughs> you know, you got guys. I've seen guys like that. You know, all right, they're not here no more. Um, 
most of them, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> you know, that's what it is. All these things just to, you know, put things in perspective, you know, all right, because what do we really need here? You know, that's why the scripture says, let me get it. Um, this is Proverbs 30 and 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Right. And the Lord knows how to dose and portion every brother, uh, every man in this truth, uh, according to um, what they need. All right. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is Yahweh? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. All right. You know. So, yeah, give me neither poverty nor riches, man. Give me what, what I need to, to get to the next um, level, so to speak. All right. To, from one glory to another, you know. Well, you know, we travel light. The scripture says, uh, no man that warreth uh, entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. All right. That he may please him who have chose him to be a soldier. Soldier uh, goes, you know, it's synonymous with the word solitary. All right. And in truth, we are solitary. You you, you know, we're a body. We're, we're one. But but at the same time, we're, we're you're alone. <laughs> We're all alone, you know. We're not alone, but we are alone, if you know what I mean. It's just like, um, I like I like to use the example of uh, fighter jets. You know, they fly in succession with each other. They fly in, um, you know, like birds, you know, um, a formation. But in truth, you're in that cockpit by yourself, man. You know? You're in that cockpit by yourself, man. You know, if the if the plane goes down, you're the one who goes down, man. If you miss a shot, you if you you shoot aiming at something and you shot it and you missed, okay, that's on you. All right. So, what do we really need? You know, and it goes into the question, why are we really here? You know, if you're here for anything other than salvation, then, you know, your, um, your, uh, you're here for the wrong reasons at the end of the day. We're just here for, uh, for salvation, man, you know, to make it. You know, if I have some wisdom to impart to a brother, then, you know, so be it, you know. Um, if I could be a help, cool. Whatever I can do to help the body, you know. But being brought low is not always a bad thing, whether it be financially, whether it be uh, in status or anything, anything. Maybe you lost a woman. Maybe you lost a job. You know, this place is a, is about losing. Uh, as the scripture says, we brought nothing into this world and we could take nothing out, you know. And just like Judas had to go to his place, we all got to go to our place. Yeah, how about Shimei Asha has um, a place for everybody. I don't know if I'm of the elect or not, but if I am, then I have a place among the elect. Wherever that is, I just simply want to fulfill my office, whatever my office is, you know, and, and, you know, it takes time sometimes to know what you're good at and where you fit in this truth. But once you fit there and you see that's where you're at, then you have to go hard in your office, man. You know, you, you go hard in the position that you were uh, given, you know. 
you know. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, a mean estate is not always to be contemned. You know, it's not always a bad thing to be brought low. You know, I found that being brought low is a hell of a character builder. It builds character, you know, because over my time in this truth, I've seen a lot of men that are truly lacking in character. Okay. Truly lacking in character, you know, and, um, you know, being brought low and suffering is a hell of a character builder, man. You know, if you can endure it, if you can endure um, being brought low, then <laughs> you're flexing spiritual muscles and mental muscles that you didn't even know you had. You know, <laughs> you're flexing uh, muscles that you didn't even know you had, man. You're becoming uh, something greater than what you were, you know, and it comes with not being fake. It comes with not being phony. It comes with being a, a approachable, tangible. All right. And one thing I can say about myself, I've always tried to be transparent. I've always tried to be um, approachable. I try, I've always tried to be uh as the scripture says, I would not hide myself from my own flesh. You know, I won't hide myself from the body. I try to be very visible. You know, because sometimes when you when you become not visible, um, you no, know, you don't want to be too visible. You don't want to be too invisible. The scriptures say that, man. It's, it talks about when you're sitting with a rich man. It says, "Don't sit too far off." You know, roughly paraphrasing from him. You know. Just roughly paraphrasing that scripture, you know. So, you know, being brought low, I found that it, like I said, is a character builder. And, um, it, you know, there's no, there's no fakeness in it. There's nothing fake about suffering, man. You know, and I try to be the same person every time brother see me, man. I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't hide nothing, you know. Um, <laughs> I try to be the same person that every time brothers see me, man. I'm not fake. I'm not phony. I'm not one way in front of brothers and then one way around other people. I, I've never been that way. Hell, I wasn't even that way in the world, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know. <laughs> Don't let being brought low <laughs> bring you low, if you know what I mean. The scripture says, um, in fact, let me grab it. Um, this is Sirach 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art brought to a low estate, right? Be patient uh, when thou art brought to a low estate, man. When you're brought low, just sit back and watch, man. Sit back and chill and, and let the Lord work, man. Because you might be, because you because men are brought uh, low. Some men are brought low to be exalted later on. You know, just sit back, be patient, and um, just chill. Serve out your sentence and be cool. <laughs> just like Bone Thug said. <laughs> For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of uh of adversity. Alright, um I think it's one more. Brother of low. Let me see what uh this is what I'm looking for. Right. Uh yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yep, this is James 1 and 9. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted 
but the rich in that he is made low because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away right let the brother of, of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted you know and the lord will exalt you in due time if you are to be exalted <laughs> if that is you know what the lord has for you other than that you know we're in the trenches we're in the trenches the food is bitter the floor is cold but we soldiers man we're grunts and like the apostles said grunts could take it man all right <laughs> grunts can take it you know i've always been a grunt i was a grunt in the world you know even more so in this truth you know i'm just a grunt i'm just a soldier that's that's just what i am you know whether within <laughs> whether within um good graces or whether without you know whether i was sat down whether i was excommunicated i still was able to pull out my um compass <laughs> you know what i'm saying my canteen and pull out the blueprints and get to work man because that's what this is about that's why i'm here i'm here for this work man you know i'm here to do this work you know whatever office that i'm in i'm here to fulfill that office and then that's it until the lord returns you know and as the scripture says blessed is uh the man whom the lord come shall find so doing man. all right but yeah that's a little lesson you know just the words of encouragement you know hope there's some edification within it um shalom